Hello Commanders and welcome in part 14 of the Chinese Empire series. We are in the North Sea in the conquest of Poland here in the naval battle but the bad news that Poland possesses destroyers. Destroyers here is going to be bad news for us. Why? Because our attack submarines they are operating in shallow waters against destroyers it's a lost cause. But the good thing there that we have the range. We have a better range than uh, the Polish destroyers, this is why they did not strike back. I'm going to use that in my favor to kill those destroyers. Here are the remainings of the Algerian forces, such as the air superiority fighters. I am going to kill them with my um, mobile anti-air and continue conquering his homeland cities. Look at that. Our mobile anti-air has started launching his... Uh, he strikes on these air security fighters, it is already damaged, it's a matter of time until it, it falls. Here there are Ukrainian forces in, Tur in Turkey, look at that. He has an armored division. Of course, I have to remind you that Ukraine is the ally of Algeria and Poland. The coalition is composed of Algeria, Poland, Ukraine, Italy and Nigeria. So here um, looks like uh, Ukraine is trapped inside Turkey. Let's have a look, a quick look to our empire now. As we took down now half of the Middle East and half of Turkey, we are expanding uh, consistently and this is the Chinese empire. Yes, it's not enough. We need to expand more to kill and win this game. These destroyers, they are coming closer, boys. Looks like he saw that I am attacking him from distance and he is chasing me to close the gap of the range. But I'm not going to let him. I will retreat be before he sends his counterattack. The SPRT fighter has fallen. Yep, it has fallen. Now let's go to his capital, Wergula. I need to take down his capital and win against Algeria once and for all. It remains only the issue of Poland. I need to um, destroy Poland. Actually, at least I need to perform a naval blockade on him to maintain that he is always under our heel. Because I do not want any revolts. I do not want any uh, sudden attacks. Here I am going to speak with uh, Ukraine to... Um, Actually, I need to reach out to Ukraine to see and find out what are his intentions. Because he have an armored division in Turkey, I do not know what he is going to do. Is he going to launch a counterattack? Is he going to ask for peace? I don't know. So I am going to get in touch with him and see. Maybe I will give him right of way to take off his armored division to be able to take the remainings of the Algerian lands. Yes, on a side, we are attacking fiercely and recklessly. But on the other side, I want to show you the role of diplomacies in the solo games. Because sometimes, yes, I make the game looks easier. Yeah, I make it look easier when you see the Chinese Empire overwhelming the tremendous power of the Algerian Kingdom. You are going to say, but solo wins, they are extremely easy. But guys, we are not the same. I am playing this game all day long. To be able to give you a proper solo series like this, I spent all my day on my laptop. A huge work I have to do here to perform a good campaign and a good show full of strategies, full of uh, information, full of greater things. So yes, I make it easy and looks easier, but you need to know that diplomacy is the most important thing for a solo win. Activity and diplomacy. No matter how you are skilled or you don't know how to play or anything, if you are active enough and you have good diplomatic skills, believe me, only with infantry and tanks you can have a solo win. Because I tried that before. I won a solo game with tanks and infantry. Of course, in my first days of the game where um, the motorized infantry did not have the attack range, look at that. China with 1485 victory points and now Algeria is totally destroyed with only 35 cities remaining. I gave the right of way for uh, Ukraine to um, take off his armored division, we spoke and he said okay I will retreat it. Of course Italy helped a lot in this series uh, and later on we found out that Italy is one of our community members and he is a fan of Miliotas Gaming and he actually helped a lot to not engage in this war because you know this war against Algeria would have been more complicated if, if his allies fought alongside him. Yeah. I took that factor on my side because I really gambled on the lack of teamwork between this coalition to um, infiltrate 
uh, Algeria and kill him. Of course, like I said in the, in the last episode, taking Algeria alone is supposed to be enough to get the solo one. But looks like uh, Poland did not want to reach it back, did not want to stop his assaults. He is trying and trying to prevent my uh, task forces to get to his northern cities. But here I am moving my land armies slowly uh, with, um, with attentive uh, steps of course you can see that i am not rushing i am not taking lands recklessly i keep my infantry in those conquered cities to maintain them and uh, prevent them from uh, turning rogue and uh, of course killing the insurgency and here finally i am landing in greece and i'm going to take the balkans if i take down the balkans there we i will have common borders with poland like that i will be very uh, close to the Polish lands and I can make a campaign. This is only if the game does not end before that If the game does not end before that I will launch a land invasion on Poland But if the game finishes then you tell me congratulations for this amazing solo win You never know maybe some surprises happen like what happened in the Chilean Empire we were going on a tough road we were winning killing everyone and later on we met the European coalition that actually put up a tremendous perfect fight and they killed me yeah I, they killed me if you want to see how Miliadas was beaten and if you want to see how Miliadas was killing watch the Chilean Empire series Okay, let's take our time here to take the surrounding provinces. The good thing about this region, it's rich of resources, provinces and cities. I am 100% sure if I manage to take down the Balkans, all of the lands there successfully, my victory points uh, bank is going to be thriving, it's going to be exploded, yeah. Yeah, it's going to be a good port of new points there. These are Ukrainian uh, corvettes on the move. He has level 2 strike fighters. He moved his armored division from that province, so I'm going to take it now. And later on, I will move my armies to the Balkans. I need to put a tough land front in uh, the Balkans here. In case Poland uh, tries to use something unlikely, I need to be uh, ready for him because if he tries anything stupid I will focus all my fire towards his homeland cities of course yeah from the Balkans I am going to be quite um, quite close to his homeland cities like that is not going to be so complicated to beat him this is Jordan AI nation I'm going to take it on my way the city of Amman also there is uh, Yemen still an AI nation I'm going to take it with its capital Sana'a Muscat, also I'm going to take it. This is the city of Jazan, a very important component city. I'm gonna take it. You can see guys, our, our economy, 562 points per hour supplies, 453 per hour supplies. Well, that's um, that's decent, huh? The, uh, the city's annexation paid off eventually. Like I say, yes, city's annexation is not going to... Um, oh, this is Italy, look at that. With naval patrol aircrafts, level 6 motorized infantry, level 1 main ball tanks. Like I said, the annexation of cities is not going to pay you back instantly. It needs some time for the population to rise, for the morale to heal. And later on you will see how that city is going to thrive and uh, give you a great income of resources. Some people they tell me annexation is not worth it, but believe me, it is definitely worth it. Thank you guys for watching today's episode. We are at the end of episode 14. The next one, I hope so, it's going to be the last one. Because if we... Um, continue on this pace we are going to win it come on guys show me your beautiful support let's go and win this together thank you and see you in the next one bye bye